Hey, what's going on my friend, Mike Allen here and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today's video, I'm gonna share with you a Facebook algorithm hack that is absolutely going to skyrocket your Facebook engagement, your algorithm here in 2021 and for many years to come. Let's just go ahead and dive into this. I see a lot of people that are charging courses to learn how to do the Facebook algorithm that absolutely tweaks me off. That's why I'm doing more videos on the Facebook algorithm so that you don't have to pay a penny for it. All of this should be free. This should be somebody being a genuine person and giving from the heart to show somebody how to leverage an algorithm in their favor. And that's what I'm gonna show you in this video. So if you do get value from this, all I ask is that you give it a thumbs up, maybe hit the subscribe button, click the little bell notification right by it so you get notified every time that I come out with free content just like this. All right, so the number one problem that I see with people's engagement, their Facebook algorithm, is they're not connecting with the right people. Let's say that you're a hardcore gamer and you, you love gaming, woo, gaming all day long, right? And you're hosting a virtual event because you can't host a live one because of COVID, right? So everybody's wearing the mask, you know, they're, they're on their computer, they're not wearing their mask by their computer, but they're at home, they're watching the virtual event, they're ready to get it started. There's like 50,000 people on this virtual event and you get on there and you show people how to start knitting a, a sweater, right? You're on there and you're showing people how to knit a sweater. What do you think is gonna happen? All of those hardcore gamers are gonna be like, what the hell is this? And they're gonna leave. They're leaving, they're leaving, they're leaving. They're probably leaving you negative remarks. Um, you know, you're, you're clickbaiting them and it's just a bunch of crap. It's the same thing with your post. If you are posting on your profile and you're not speaking to your target audience, they're not going to engage. This isn't somebody else's fault. This isn't, you know, like courses say, if you just go out and engage with everybody's post, they're gonna come back and engage with you. That is not true. If you go out and engage with somebody's post, yes, that is going to put your your content in front of them, but if it's not captivating, if it doesn't pull their attention in and they don't engage on it, they're not going to continue to see your post. So what you have to do is you have to put your content, your value, your post in front of the right people. And that's what I want to show you how to do right now. So the first thing that you need to do is get out a piece of paper and maybe write down two or three hobbies that you have, stuff that you could talk about all day long. Now, I know you're thinking, well, how is that going to grow my business? Well, bear with me because this is all going to make sense here in a little bit. Write down two or three hobbies, you know, things that you could talk about all day long. And now we're going to go into Facebook and we're going to do a search for that hobby. So that, let's say that you love snowboarding. You type in snowboarding in the search group or in the, the search bar, and then you're going to hit groups and it's going to bring up all of these snowboarding groups. Now you want to find active groups, highly active groups is what we're searching for. So if you can find groups around a hundred thousand or more people, and there's like 500 to a thousand new posts inside of these groups every single day, you have found a highly targeted gold mine is basically how I put it, uh, of people that share the same interests of you, of stuff that you can talk about all day long. That's why I say you need to talk about stuff that you are passionate about that you can talk about all day long. The whole purpose of building your influences online is to build your likability, your trust factor. And if you're trying to connect with people that you have nothing in common with, that trust factor, that likability is not going to be there. So if you're getting into snow groups that are highly active, 100,000 or more people, you know, 500 to 1,000 new posts, because now you know it's a responsive group. Everybody's engaging in these groups. They're posting in these groups. They're giving value in these groups. Now you're going to find that gold mine. So you're gonna join this group. You're gonna answer any questions that they have uh, to get into the group. And then once you're in, you're gonna do this. You're going to find a picture of you on your phone or your computer or wherever it might be of you snowboarding, being happy up on the mountains with your snowboard on. And you're gonna say, hey, what's going on everybody? Thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of this snowboarding group. I can't wait to get to know more of the people in here. Um, look forward to seeing more of your posts. Something that simple. What this is gonna do is this is going to put your face into the community that you're a new person, that you're just wanting to be welcomed into the group. And you're gonna have people saying, welcome, 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 welcome to the family, welcome to the group, welcome to the snowboarding community, welcome, welcome, welcome. And now these are going to be people that you can connect with. They're going to be people that have the same interest as you and you can connect with on a snowboarding level. Once you put your post up, go through the group some and start loving people's posts, reading their posts, loving their posts and commenting on their posts so that you can put your name inside of this group more and more and more and more so that now everybody's seeing your name all over the place. Now you have to be consistent with this as well. You can't just get into a group one day and be like, well, I'll check in a month later and I'm just going to start adding everybody in the group. You're going to get kicked out. But if you're consistently in this group, you're consistent 
consistently giving value, which I'm going to show you here in a second, and you're consistently connecting with the right people, you are going to build a friends list. You're going to build an audience of people that are highly responsive, that want to engage with your stuff. Now, I hope a light bulb is about to go off because you're bringing people from a group over to your profile that are going to love the stuff that you're that you're posting. So if you're always posting snowboarding stuff and then um, you know your, your audience before was cooking, now we've connected snowboarding to snowboarding and now you're cherry picking your audience to love your content. So to put up value, what you wanna do is you wanna open that group back up and maybe scroll the group for a little bit and find all the posts inside of there that are getting the most engagement. Now you know what's really you know hitting, hitting home to people inside of these groups. What you wanna do is take note of that and either create your own content around that uh, specific type of content or get on Google and find other photos or other videos that are just like the ones that are getting tons of engagement and that's what you're going to be posting inside of these groups and that's what you're going to be posting on your profile so if if you're in a snowboarding group and people are really loving the half pipe videos or the half pipe photos or the the big air jumps then that is what you want to be posting in the group and that's what you want to be posting on your profile so if you have a big air uh, video or a big air photo that you're going to be posting on your profile you know that people are going to be engaging with that but it all starts inside of the group getting your name out there you know putting the putting the value that people love and they're gonna say oh my gosh Mike put up a new post oh my gosh Mike put up a new post oh my gosh Mike commented on my post oh my gosh Mike starting a conversation inside of this group you want to get your name way out there so that when you start adding these people as friends they already know who you are so let's say that you've been in this group for two weeks now and you want to start adding people to your friends list all you have to do is go inside of the group and maybe put up another post. Now, the reason I get into highly active groups is because I'm in groups where I can put up a post, I know what they're going to like, and I can get thousands of reactions on my post, and I can get thousands of comments on my post as well, and that's what I'm looking for because I want to engage with the people that are actually engaging inside of the group. I don't want bot followers. I don't want you know people that are hardly ever on Facebook. My dog's dreaming over there. Here. Anyway, I don't want to I don't want to connect with people that are never on Facebook. So I put up a post and I go into my comments and I find all of the people that are commenting on my post and I can add them as a friend. I will love their comment. I will add them as a friend and I will send them a message as to why I'm adding them. Hey, what's going on, Bob? You know, thank you so much for commenting on my snowboarding picture. How's your day going? Something that simple to break the ice. What happens is uh, Bob has seen my photo. He engaged on my photo. I loved his comment. I added him as a friend and I sent him a message saying, thank you so much for commenting on my post. Or I can find people that have posted in the group. Oh my gosh, Bob, I absolutely love your post inside of the group. You know, where were you on that half pipe? Where in the world? What mountain were you on? And they're going to reply back. Hey, I was here, blah, blah, blah. Now I'm having a conversation with Bob from this group. I now know that Bob likes big air stuff, and when I start posting snowboarding stuff on my on my profile, he's going to start engaging with the video as well, or the photo. So this secret tip is not a big thing. It's getting into groups, it's finding your ideal audience, and bringing those people over to your page. Now the thing is, yes, you still wanna engage with people's posts. Why? Because you want to put your content in front of them when they're, when they're your friend and when they're in your newsfeed. So you wanna go out there and you wanna engage on their posts. Maybe they're posting snowboarding stuff as well, which they probably are, you want to engage on their posts so that you get stuck in their algorithm and they get stuck in your algorithm. So you both are seeing each other's content and now you can go out there and engage on Bob's post and Bob's going to be like, hey, what's going on, Mike? Because you're now friends and he's going to come back and he's going to engage on your post because he's now seeing your content and you found the right audience to connect with. When you build the right audience and you build that like, know, and trust factor between people, it's a lot easier to be able to ask Bob now, hey, Bob, you know, I was wondering if you would be open to checking out a, a game-changing opportunity that I've been taking part in. Or, hey, Bob, I was just curious to see if you were open to um, checking out how you can, you know, create a side income through social media. If not, not a big deal. Or, hey, Bob, I was just curious to see if you were interested in checking out XYZ product that I've been using and, you know, getting XY, uh, XYZ results from. It's a lot easier to ask Bob to be able to do that once I built the connection I found the right audience and I'm now connecting with people who have the same interests as me and I can actually build a solid friendship on. So I hope this video has been helpful. If it has, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. And if you have not yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button, click the little bell notification right by it. Let me know what you thought about the video down in the comments below and I will see you guys on the next video.